Welcome to the APHIS Celebrity Spotlight. I'm Nancy J. Aisha Tyler is the perfect combination of beauty and comedic talent, plus a lot of brains thrown into that mix. She has put together a successful yet varied career on TV with shows like Talk Soup and Friends, films such as Balls of Fury and even Stand Up, with a new DVD of her live show at the Fillmore. Aisha Tyler is lit. Now available in your power zone. Aisha, thank you for being with us. Oh, thanks for having what me. What is the title? What does that mean, <laughs> Aisha Tyler is lit? I'll give you a little Hollywood inside information. Ooh. Um, we, I really wanted to call it uh, Aisha Tyler Girl on Fire. And then when we tried to clear the name, you know, there's a whole thing when you want to name something, you've got to like find out if someone else has got it. There was like some kind of sweaty screenwriter in like Burbank <laughs> who had registered the, the title Girl on Fire and we couldn't use it. So my husband, we were in the car driving home and he goes, what about Aisha Tyler is lit? And I was like, what are you trying to say, mister? And, uh, but it just <laughs> stuck because it could mean so many things, you know, that you're fired up, that you're excited, that you're pissed off. And, and, um, and I talk a lot about cocktails in my act, so it could also mean that you've had a few. Sure. So it just has like a lot of different um, uh, meanings and when you see the show my energy is so crazy and over the top that it really has that kind of like she's lit up like a Christmas tree kind of feel to it. You ever take time off from working out for like a long period of time and then you still think you're in shape and you go back and work out like you did you know when you were in college or something like that you know it's like the last time you ran was after the cocktail waitress <laughs> somehow you still think you're a freaking Ironman triathlete I ran in the gym you know my first day back and I was like I'm gonna lose 10 pounds today Stupid ass. I worked out all day and I felt great when I left the gym, you know what I mean? I was like, oh, who wants their tickets to the gun show? Ah! Oh, mm, mm. And I went to bed and I felt awesome. And I woke up in the morning paralyzed. So like, Jesus, did a giant punch me in the neck while I was sleeping? It's a great DVD, great mm -hmm. show. It's been on the comedy channel already. Yeah, yeah. Comedy, Comedy, Network, Comedy Central. Comedy Central. Mm -hmm. And I like it because it's so you. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's smart, it's funny, but at the same time, you really hit on the topics that men and women want to talk about. Yeah, you know, it's funny. Um, Starting out in stand-up comedy, when I, you know, was, when I was younger, there just weren't that many women doing stand-up, and even now there aren't there as aren't. many as mm -mm. guys. But I was raised by a single dad, and you know, the stuff that I did when I was a kid with my dad was go play video games, go see, you know, movies like Die Hard and you know, and Mad Max, and <laughs> so my sense of humor has always been super guy-friendly. And I always wanted, as a comic, not to be the, the girl comic that appealed to women and the guys kind of went along. I wanted everybody in the audience to laugh. So I, my, I think my topics they, they're super guy-friendly. I think everybody can relate to them. They're a little edgy. You know, because when you go out on a Friday night, you get when you get a sitter for the kids, and you're having a cocktail, <laughs> you want to talk about grown-up stuff. Um, but it has it, it has that combination of kind of silliness and intelligence uh, with a little edge thrown in, and I think a lot of people can really relate to it. I did marry a white guy. Thank you. Honestly, I had to. You know what I'm saying? My credit was <laughs> up. I really wanted a new car. <laughs> they were asking me all these questions at the dealership about my income and my credit and the stabbings. And finally, I was like, look, I'm just going to come back with a white boy. Excellent idea, ma'am. 24 hours later, you're approved. Ching! <laughs> Most female comics, stand-ups, mm -hmm. Are not gorgeous too. Oh, I mean, they're, no, but that, I, but I mean, doesn't that have kind of give you a little, maybe, a, maybe almost a disadvantage because yeah. you're so gorgeous and people don't think you should be funny too. <laughs> oh, um, well, I definitely don't get up in the morning and look in the mirror and think, "Ooh, I'm so fine." Um, I usually think, "Why is there a tumor growing on my face that looks <laughs> like a pimple?" Um, you know, I, when I first started doing stand-up, it, it's really important, like, comedy is about relatability. Can I relate to you? Do I understand you? Do you understand me? Um, have you had experiences that are like mine? And if people don't trust you, it's hard for them to laugh. So I spent a lot of time in my act telling people, like, just being really self-deprecating. I mean, I'm six feet tall. I'm sitting down now, so you can't tell. But um, I've been this tall since I was, like, seven, uh, which was awesome. 
um, when you're a giant, like, you know, <laughs> like Godzilla crushing all the other little kids in, in uh, preschool. So um, I talk about all the ways in which I'm really like everybody else, that I was a really dorky kid, that I didn't fit in, that even now I still feel like a dork in an adult's body. And I think once people hear me talk for about five minutes, they just realize, you know, she. I had this girl come up to me and she goes, well, I knew you from, like, Ghost Whisperer. And I was like, how is this girl going to be funny? Because she's going to be worried about her hair the whole time. And she's like, you clearly were not worried about your hair at all. I was like, yeah, I look <laughs> like, really, like an idiot you. up there. She's like, you did. <laughs> I mean, for me, comedy is about, you know, putting yourself on the line, letting it all hang out there, not being worried about how you look or how cool you are. If you're, if you're funny, you're probably not that cool up there. You ever had that day where you're just like, today, today's going to be the first day of the rest of my life, right? It's all going to change today. I'm going to get it all done. I'm turning over a new leaf today, man. I got my to-do list. I'm going to get it all done. I'm going to organize the house and pay all my bills and clean out the garage. I'm going to write all those relatives I haven't spoken to in years and find all the tops of my Tupperware containers I lost. I'm going to get the car oil changed. It's been like five years now. All the toys the kids lost under the bed. I'm going to go rescue some stray dogs and adopt a bunch of ethnic babies like Brangelina. Three o'clock in the afternoon, you're still in your underpants looking at internet porn. Anybody else? Well, I'm glad to have you with us today. Good luck with everything. Thank we'll be you. getting to see a lot. For, you need to be, I mean, we've got, you've got Dancing on the Stars. That's the only thing I don't think you've done yet. No, dancing? I don't know I'm going to do Dancing with the Stars. I, I'm, uh, I've gotten offered, I've gotten harassed a couple times, but um, I just, uh, I don't want to be the tall girl who ends up punching her partner in the eye. Ah, I mean? there you, like, however, I think that might be kind of fun. You may need that. Anyway, I Well, I'm working on TV you. stuff for the fall. So okay, good, good, good. Yeah. We'll need to look for that, yeah. too. Thank but you. for now, you need to look for the comedy DVD, Aisha Tyler is Lit in your power zone.